Well, people are still talking about last week's study from a team at the University of Pennsylvania that shows how differently male and female brains are wired. We're certainly talking about it around here. The researchers say this explains why the sexes excel at different tasks. Dr. Ragani Verma is the senior author of the study and joins us via Skype from Philadelphia to explain the findings. She's an associate professor in the Department of Radiology at the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Verma, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for your interest in the study. Absolutely. I want to talk about the reaction to the results in just one second, but let's take a step back and explain the findings and, and what you were looking for, the parameters of this study. study. So we started off looking for differences. Uh, we've observed differences the, uh, between patients and controls in neuropsychiatric disorders between genders. Uh, there is a difference not only um, patients and controls in neuropsychiatric disorders, but also in something like autism. So this study was uh, launched, was funded by NIMH and um, run by Dr. Ruben and Raquel Gorin. The idea was to try and see whether we can find base level differences in men and women. Um, in the past, all the studies have done like behavioral or uh, functional differences. This is the first study which, uh, to, to, to the best of my knowledge, which actually takes into account structural differences. Um, so to, just to give an example of the, the kind of imaging we use, which is diffusion imaging, if you think of a brain as a network of roads and the traffic on it, uh, while functional MRI, <clears throat> MEG, it gives you the traffic part of the picture, the actual roads or the white matter pathways in the brain are captured by diffusion imaging. So what we found was actual structural differences between a population of men and a population of women across an age span of 8 to 22 years. So as I understand... So Stand it, Dr. Verma, that uh, what you found was the wiring of these highways for women, the communication was mainly between the two hemispheres of the cerebrum, the big part of the brain, from left to right, right to left, as opposed to the men that had high communication from front to back on one, uh, one side. Uh, so what does that mean in practical application and, and what we're able to do and what we're good at doing? Um, well, so just to change that a little bit, so we found that the men had front-back connectivity, but they were on both sides of the brain, mm -hmm. and yeah. men had higher than the women uh, on average, and women had higher left-right connectivity on average. It does not mean that individual variability does not exist. And practically, so, what does that mean then? This, sorry? No, I was just asking then, what does that mean practically? How does that express itself in our abilities? So if you, uh, the, the left-hand side of the brain is more for logical thinking. The right-hand side of the brain is more intuitive thinking. So if you wanted to do a task that involved both, you, sh you would be better off if your connectivity was higher between those two parts of the brain. If your cerebellum, which controls your motor skills, the back of the brain, which controls the perception and the front controls the interpretation of it. If you wanted to do a task which required very um, specific motor skills, you are better off having a better, highly connected cerebellum and the back to front. So we think that people who have good left-right connectivity should be or have better left-right connectivity, are better at logical slash logical intuitive thinking. And people who have good front-back connectivity should be good at concentrated motor skills. Women also showed that their, many of their networks were engaged together in terms of they participated in various networks of the brain at the same time. Men participated intensely within a single network. Um, so if multitasking versus doing one single content concentrated tasks better. Well, I, I tell you what, I've, that, I've got to jump I've, in. We're completely out of time. Dr. Ragani Verma, thank you so much for coming on to talk about us. And thank you for creating a great debate between the sexes <laughs> or continuing it. Thank, we appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Our Rise News will be offering complete coverage of the Nelson Mandela Memorial Service on Tuesday from Johannesburg. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.